This month's video series is all about what to expect in the real estate market in 2021. Are we going to see a crash? Are we going to have a real estate crash? With multiple offers and lack of inventory, many people are asking us if we feel the market may crash. Well, you know the saying, what goes up must come down. So I understand that it may be worrisome thinking about what to do. Sabrina Shaw here with Homes by Sabrina, brokered by eXp Realty. And we are in unpredictable times. But let's truly compare what happened back in 2006 when we had one of the biggest crashes in American history. According to the National Association of Realtors, Chief Economist Lawrence Young, he said, and I quote, such a frenzy of activity reminiscent of 2006 raises questions about a bubble and the potential for a painful crash. The answer, there is no comparison. Back in 2006, dubious adjustable rate mortgages taxed many buyers' budgets. Some loans didn't even require income documentation. Today, buyers are taking out 30-year fixed rate mortgages. 14 years ago, there were 3.8 million homes listed for sale, and home builders were putting up about 2 million new units. Now, inventory is only about 1.5 million homes, and home builders are underproducing relative to historical averages. So the point to notice from the quote was when he said there's no comparison. Also, major contributors to the crash back in 2006 was the fact that stated income loans were being given to buyers. Buyers were being qualified for a loan that they could simply not afford, and in many cases, little paperwork was needed to qualify for a loan. Someone would simply state what they made, and that was considered enough. That's not the case now, though. Lenders pretty much want your firstborn child in order to approve you. They go above and beyond in qualifying buyers for a loan and making sure that they have the means to pay. So that should give us some relief in respect to the housing market and its sustainability. Also, homes appraising at exceedingly higher values from one week or one month to the next had a significant impact on the crash. That's just not happening anymore. There are stringent guidelines for appraisals and the amount that a bank will lend for a home. So I feel that we should take solace knowing that there are many more factors that led to the crash of 2006 that we just don't see today. Sabrina Shaw here with Homes by Sabrina and EXP Realty. And we are always here to help. Reach out anytime, even if you've just got questions, we are here to help. And remember, when you do what you love, people love what you do.